I'm gonna have to redub all the audio anyway because there's like licensed music in the background. I don't even hear it. Neither do I. In your video saying there's an annoying child behind me. I mean, dude, I was the same way when I was a kid. So you're fine. I mean, like, this is amazing. What's your YouTube channel called? What's up guys, this is Scott with Wheelball for Soup, and this is my first day back in a paintball field in a while. I have my marker for 2019, that's the Vanquish GT with the V16 bolt kit. I've been really happy with this thing so far. It shoots like a Lux, but it's a little bit bigger, a little bit more stable. We have my buddy here shooting it, and I'm on the camera, so let's roll. Yeah, it's fucking do money. Side by side of this versus like the. What's up, guys? This is Scott with Will Ball for Soup, and this is my 2019 gear bag video. I hope you like what you've seen so far. We're gonna continue on and go into the soft goods that I wear other things like that. But first, I have to say a special thank you to Jake of Team Insanity for making this happen for my buddy Jacob, who's going through a really tough time right now. Jacob's mom is sick, his dad's not in the picture, that's enough information about that, but he's going through a really rough time. And he's a huge fan of Lone Wolf as well as Jake from Insanity, so Jake sent out this shirt that's signed by Joe and Tony of Lone Wolf Paintball as well as Jake with his serial killer handwriting. And that is Travis Lemansky. He's the coach of infamous longtime pro veteran. So this shirt is gonna make my buddy Jacob really happy. And Jake, I mean, I disagree with you on some of the NXL things. We'll talk about that later next time we link up. But this is a really good look. What's up guys? These are the jerseys that I'm gonna be wearing for 2019. I have a pretty big collection of them. So hopefully we can get through them rather quickly. And I can tell you a couple things about each one. So Surge was a D3 or D2 NPPL seven man team. And I've always liked this jersey because it's so simple. Like black, yellow, and the Surge logo, it looks professional. Um, I've always wanted this. My friend Derek owned it. And Derek works at our sponsor, Mesa Paintball Supply. So Derek has a couple of my jerseys. I have a couple of Derek's jerseys. And this one is gonna stay with me for a very long time. I love this thing. This one here is a Team NXE. I wanna say this is a D1 seven-man team. A lot of the players who are currently on Elevation played on NXE. And another cool thing about this, I got it from one of the one-up kids. So if you guys know that team one-up kids, they're pretty famous. A one-up kid sold me this jersey and I'm really happy to have it. This one's also not going anywhere. 
You may have seen this one before. This is a Hellcats D2 X-Ball jersey. This is a team when I lived in Tucson. We scrimmaged them a lot. Really cool design, black skulls. Disruptive paintball was our home field. Planet Eclipse, RPS, Gorilla Air. Paintball history right here, guys. This is a Raza remake Aftershock jersey. It's kind of that old school style, old school style. These were made kind of to look like a JT jersey, but they're made by Raza. All right, the Copper State Crisis, D4, D5, local Arizona team. I coach these guys. When I want to play some paintball, I'm playing it with Crisis. So Crisis is my homies. Uh, we have some issues with style supply though. We've ordered some extra jerseys from them and it's taken like four months to ship. Style supply is really not great to work with. Um, I hate to badmouth them, but when you pay for something and you wait four months, that's unacceptable. So Crisis is looking for a new jersey sponsor. If you guys have any suggestions for who we should hit up, because I think we're done with style supply. I want to say definitely we're done with style supply. Um, it's almost at the point where we've had to do like a PayPal claim. I don't know. It's a good looking jersey. This is a good looking jersey, but style supply hasn't really been that good to us. So let's keep it moving. Last but not least, the U of A D4 PSP jersey. Uh, this thing's not going anywhere. I should probably retire it at this point. This thing might get framed and I'll put it in my office. So in 2019, I'm wearing three different paintball headbands. I kind of rotate them depending on what mood I'm in. This one down here, the green tan, that's an HK Army remake. And it was actually given to me by Quitman. And he's the guy who edits all the content for HK Army. I linked up with Quitman at an NXL event. He's like, yo man, I know your work, I'm a fan. <laughs> and you can just take this one. So this is sponsored by Quitman, Quitsky. I still have it, homie, and this is on my head on the regular, so thanks for that. The one in the middle is an authentic Havoc Flying Skull. That's a Havoc 12 ounce, and this was given to me by a player who recently got picked up by Scottsdale Elevation. So he needed some cash to help pay for his first NXL Pro event, and I needed some really swaggy, authentic Sandana head game. So the Havoc Flying Skull, it's a one piece. This thing is beautiful, I love this headband. It's never gonna leave me. Even if I'm broke as a joke, I'm not selling this one. This one's special. The one on top is by OG Danas. I think you've seen this one before. It's also a 12 ounce flying skull, and I don't know if they ever made any more orange ones. So as you saw from my intro, I have two Empire Vanquishes, and these are the markers that I'm gonna be shooting in 2019. The first one, I call this the Mega Man Blue. It's beautiful. And then I have a 1.5 Vanquish with a die ultralight barrel. Both of these markers shipped with the matching driver barrel kits. So I have two barrel kits for two markers, which is really cool, but I kind of hope that the 1.5 would come with the freak kit and the carbon fiber tip. While the driver shoots pretty good, nothing beats a freak kit. Oh, and if you're wondering what's up here, this is a really dumb big DM4 that I bought for $50. The Noid works, the eyes work, it's got some upgrades like a FBM trigger, and I think a Tato chip or a Todao chip. Um, that's a project gun for me. Hopefully I can get this thing working, but I only paid $50 for it. So hey, what's there to lose? Worst case scenario, it'll be like a display piece or something. Look how far we've come, man. Like the DM4 was the pinnacle of technology in 04, and now paintball guns are half the size. So back to the Vanks. So the Vanquish GT shoots a bit smoother with the V16 bolt kit than the Vanquish 1.5 with the red bolt. But what I did was I took the V16 from here and I put the V16 in the 1.5. Now, this is the weird thing about the jump from the 1.5 to the GT. The 1.5 is a smaller, lighter, more ergonomic marker. And the GT, is it's a bigger gun. So going from year to year, the, the GT is actually bigger, and I like a smaller, lighter gun. So I kind of prefer the 1.5. I'm not sure if I'm gonna swap the V16 in there permanently, but from where I'm at, like I'm the original owner of this GT. I may sell the GT and keep the 1.5, but I'll put the 1.5 bolt in the GT and sell the GT as like a 2.0 with some GT accessories. Um, what, which gun would you guys keep? Do you wanna shoot the Mega Man GT? or the lighter, sleeker, but um, not as prestigious 1.5.
Um, as you can see, as you can see from the shooting videos, both of these guns are shooting absolute money. If you're thinking about like an affordable $300 to $500 spool valve gun, don't get an old box. Don't get a CS1. The CS1 kind of is too chubby for me. Uh, the old box that's also not reliable at all. For spool valve guns, these are super reliable. They never have FSDO. And I really recommend the Vanquishes, especially when you can find these, the 1.5s and the 1.0s, for $300 or less. So which one would you guys keep? Do you want this one or do you want this one? So now I'm gonna cut to American Paintball Coliseum and we're gonna do some shooting of the 1.5 with both the original 1.5 bolt and some shots with the GT V16 bolt. Um, I get asked a lot, what fields do I film at? What fields do I play at? So if I'm doing a team practice, I'm gonna be at Wild West Paintball and that's in Mesa, Arizona. But if I'm doing rec ball or if I'm just tuning my guns or just hanging out, you can find me at American Paintball Coliseum in Phoenix. All right, guys, this concludes my voiceover segment for the 2019 Paintball Gear Bag video. There is a lot more Will Ball for Soup to come. And hey, I'm closing in on 10,000 subscribers. So when I hit 10K, when I hit that 10K, it's when, not if, I'm gonna do a 10K giveaway. We're gonna have as many prizes as I can source, and it's gonna be lit, fam. Trust me. So this is Scott with Will Ball for Soup, signing out. Go. Go. So that's V16, fresh batteries and Aspire 260, die UL barrel. Let's get it, guys. Go. Keep ripping it, keep ripping it. Keep ripping it. Ah! <laughs> That's really difficult. Let me try. I can walk it faster. I'll put some on my face.